Al let me go. Simple as that. That last performance, he paid me 350. 250, he hated he had to do it. You know, he said he couldn't do it. I begged before he did it anyway. He washed his hands with me. He washed his hands with me. I ain't get a call after that. He gave me what I wanted and he went on his way. I'm telling y'all, right here and right now, I swear to God, it's in me, man. And he went on his way. I'm telling y'all, right here and right now, I swear to God, it's in me, man. I wanna see, I wanna see who think they can fold the matrix. Cause I'm telling you right now, bruh, it ain't happening. I ain't that easy fight. Now, if I wanted to call out a name, it well, damn, it'll definitely be Berlanga. I fight Berlanga yesterday. Anthony Yardy, yesterday. You feel me? Like light heavyweights to get in there and knock the ring rust off. Forget the ring rust. I ain't thinking about the ring rust, man. I ain't thinking about no ring rust. Anthony Yardy ain't seeing me. Edgar Berlanga ain't seeing me. Too easy. Too no. Nah. One tough fight. The other one probably going to be tough because, you know, the Matrix making a return, you know, so. What's good? What's good? It's the one and only, but what do I know? Boxing coming back at y'all with another one, man. So I had to do this video right here on Andre Durrell. Andre Durrell says he wants to make a comeback, and you guys saw two fighters that he pointed out that he feel like he could be even at this stage of his career or where he's at right now. Um, he point he you know he called out Anthony Yardy and he called out Edgar Belanga. All right, now Andre Durrell, I, I am I was a huge fan of Andre Durrell, and I didn't I was like Andre Durrell is so talented that I didn't even realize until I was watching Polly Malinaji speak on. Um, they were saying like who is the best fighter to never win a world title, and when he said Andre Durrell, I'm like damn Andre Durrell never won a title, and he like, showed sure enough he didn't. Now obviously it was moments where like you know the the call frotch fight was a clear robbery i that was just a robbery a big robbery it was such a big robbery um that the, the title of that fight on youtube for a long time i don't know if it's still up there was called a robbery in nottingham or whatever but anthony uh, i said anthony who his brother is anthony Durrell, but andre Durrell was a talented talented i mean very talented fighter one of the best switch hitters bro his, his switch hitting abilities was definitely on the level of like a, a terrence crawford and when i say that i talk about guys like you know how you can always tell somebody who's not like if, if somebody switches you can tell that that's not um their element right like i even remember andre ward i can't remember who he was fighting i might have been paul smith or something but i remember he had turned southpaw and you could i could tell like even though andre ward is my favorite fighter i could tell like that's not really he wasn't really too too confident or comfortable with that not i'm gonna say confident but comfortable with that even though andre ward is actually naturally left-handed he writes with his left hand or whatnot but um but andre Dur andre Durrell it was a i mean he could fight slick just as well as he could um right hand as, as a southpaw you know between him terrence crawford and jerron ennis both of them seem to be able to switch switch hit and 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 they're just as good as one side as they are on the other so Andre, I mean, dude was just so slick, man. Um, you know, my my first time seeing um, my first time seeing uh, Andre Durrell fight um, was actually it wasn't in the in the Olympic Games. No, actually it was. No, I'm lying. It was in the Olympic Games. I believe he lost to Triple G in the Olympics. If I'm not mistaken, I believe he lost to Triple G in the Olympics. Actually, that's the whole reason why Andre Ward fought at 178 in the uh, in the amateurs because both of them were so close or whatnot. Um, and Andre, so Andre Ward fought at 178, and um, Anthony, Andre Durrell competed at 165, and um, and got you know and received a bronze medal. Um, but in the pros, I saw him fight against Curtis Stevens, and I wasn't too impressed because I thought he was doing a lot of extra moving in that fight. Um, but then when he came, it wasn't until the Super Six when I was like, "Oh snap!" Like, dude is like his his skill his skill set was just is is just really really like 
crazy. He has a really good skill set or whatnot. And again, his, his slick. Like, he beat Carl Frotch. I had him winning that fight eight rounds to four. And they took a point off for, uh, for some dumb reason. So, I had him winning that fight 115 to 112, bro. But I had him winning eight rounds to four. I don't know how they gave that fight to Carl Frotch. He beat Carl Frotch, hands down. And then, but, but... As I'm rising up, you know, here comes the the the, the default or the, the decline of Andre Durrell. You know, Andre Durrell when he when he fought Arthur Abraham, put on a clinic, outboxed him, dropped him. I thought Andre Durrell was knocked down in that fight, but they didn't call it. But regardless, Andre Durrell won that fight clearly, right? But the whole situation with him getting, you know. The, the the chin situation like when he got caught slip when uh, he's kind of slipped and uh arthur abraham threw a punch and hit him or whatnot um you know i i just being honest like i did kind of wonder like damn like because if, if you go watch it it was a delayed reaction right it was like he hit him and then andre Durrell, andre Durrell was like what the heck and then just dropped or whatnot and I don't, I don't, I don't know. This is just my my honest opinion. I don't know, cause like a part of me is like, bro, like you see a delayed reaction from a body shot, but you don't really see de delayed reactions from a head shot. Not when you get knocked out. You might cut, catch somebody, and then a few seconds later they're on their wobbly legs or whatnot. But when some once you're knocked out, bro, like you don't get a delayed reaction for that. And I kind of saw del that delayed reaction with that, but at the same time, it was like, bro. He was winning the fight comfortably. Like, the fight wasn't even close. It wasn't even a close fight. So, it was like, why would he have to, why would he have to, you know, fake his way out when it was, what, the, was it the 12th round or the 11th round or something? It was, it was late in the fight. I know that. It was like the 11th or 12th round or something like that. Like, why would he, you know, have to, like, he wasn't getting tired or anything like that. So, I just... I didn't understand that and ever since that moment he just never really was able to get back on top bro and i really felt like andre Durrell should have been like that dude could have won a world champ. that dude was so dope now as far as him you know coming back you know and then obviously the whole situation with um with jose uskatagi where you know uh that situation in itself, I kind of felt, I felt random, kind of, I felt really bad for Uskatsuki, because, like, if you guys don't remember, that was on the undercard of a Gary Russell event, where dude, dude like, Andre Durrell's uncle, like, co-clocked the hell out of Uskatsuki and caught him off guard, but that just goes to show you that Uskatsuki has a, uh, he had a, a, a durable chin, because he, that dude was big, and he caught, caught Uskatsuki clean and uh, off guard and didn't even... You know, hurt him or anything like that. But I feel bad for Uskatsky because I felt like that fight shouldn't have been a DQ. The situation happened like he was throwing, in the midst of throwing the combination. And he was throwing his last punch when the bell rung and he caught Andre Durrell. And Andre Durrell, you know, and, you know, knocked him out or whatnot. Some people say it was a, it was a repeat of what he did with uh, Arthur Abraham. Some people say, you know, like, nah, he, he, he caught him after the bell or whatnot. Personally, I kind of feel like, bro, it was in such, it was in the midst of uh, a combination. I, I did feel like that fight shouldn't have been a, D, a DQ, maybe, maybe a no contest. But I don't think that it shouldn't. I don't think that should have uh, played an effect on Uskatagi's, uh record as far as him having a loss because, bro, it was just he was in the heat of the moment, dog. Like it was they, they were exchanging combinations and the bell was ringing as he was throwing a combination, and you know that's what happened. We saw what happened. You know, it, it, you know, so uh, I, I kind of felt like a little weird about that, but it is what it is. As far as um, Andre Durrell now. If Andre Durrell was the, if it was the Andre Durrell that fought Carl Frotch, oh no, no doubt about it, he would, he would give a lot of these guys a tough challenge, man. And actually, at the end of this video, I'm gonna post, um, uh, stay tuned for the end of this video. I'm gonna actually post him sparring with, uh, uh, you know, um, David Benavidez or whatnot. You know, he he spars with David Benavidez, and they got some good work in. Um, but at this point in his career, I, I don't see because, like, man, these it's, it's some has some hitters out there, bro. You know, you got Caleb playing. I I, I don't think highly of Edgar Belanga, but I, you know, I I don't you know Andre Durrell style would give Edgar Belanga hell. Um, but I don't know where he's at mentally or physically right now. So that's why I'm like kind of like kind of confused about it, you know. Um, I, I, I definitely know for a fact he is way more skillful than a Belanga, but um, it's just, you know, at the age 
Matter of fact, how, let's, let, let me see how old he is, you know? Yeah, see, I, I don't know why. I don't know why I thought Andre Durrell was like 37 or like 30, 37, 38. But Andre Durrell is actually 40. You know what I'm saying? Um, did you guys heard what he stated? He no longer works with Al Heyman or whatnot. Um, damn, I don't know why. I thought he was like 37. But nah, yeah, Andre Durrell is 40, man. So that's that's tough. You know, it's tough coming back. You know, like I said, at that age, and he's been inactive. Uh, you know, he has the record of 29 and 3 with 19 knockouts. Um, excuse me. He has um, he hasn't fought since 2022. It's, you know, so he hadn't fought. And it, it'll be two years in November. Um, oh man, so you know, I, I just I don't know, man. You know, he's been in there. I, I just I don't know, bro, because he was he was struggling against Uskatiki, so I don't believe that he should be in there with the Caleb Plants. Definitely not the David Benavidez, even though they sparred and gave each other work. You can see at the end of this clip, you'll be able to see David Benavidez like was really working him. Um, uh, De, you know, Demetrius Andre won. I don't think Demetrius Andre would beat him up, beat him up. Uh, but I, I, I don't even think. I don't know. It just depends. Like I don't think that he's. I don't know. I, I ain't no even. It ain't even no. This it depends. It's like at this stage of his career. I mean, cause guy, you, you know, he was struggling against against guys like James DeGale, You know, Uskatiki. Um, uh, what's the dude's name? Um, Gonzalez. These guys are not top level guys, and he was struggling them. Granted, yes, this was at the end of his career, so that's why I said, like, I just, you know, I, I, I don't, I'm, I'm definitely not gonna um, shit on his dream or whatnot, but I just don't think that, you know, I don't know if it, I don't know that that's this that's, that's a tough, it's tough, man. That's 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 tough, man. Um, Against the top guys, I just especially not no damn Canelo. We're not even gonna talk about Canelo. I'm not even gonna you know bring him up, but you know, uh, I don't know. May I don't, and I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think hey, hey he called out Anthony Yard, bro. Anthony Yard a dog, bro. That dude got heart. Like <laughs> Anthony Yard is gonna come. Like bro, I'm gonna tell you, something. <laughs> bro. We can shit on Anthony Yard all you want to, but Anthony, one thing about it, bro. If you trying to test where you at and you've been out of the ring, you 40 years old. Anthony Anthony Yard is not the dude you want to test that against, bro. Because that dude gonna give you. Anthony Yard gonna bring everything you want to the table, bro. So I don't know about Anthony Yard. Berlanga, Edgar Berlanga, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I but I don't Anthony Yard, bro. I don't know that man gonna he gonna give you everything you asking for plus more. So you know, and and and, and even Anthony Yard and, and, and Andre Durrell's prime, he would punish Anthony Yard. I'm not, you know, but he's not at his prime. So I don't think that that's a good idea for him. You know. And see, looking at the WB, uh, or not not just the WBC, but the super middleweight rankings and all, you know, you got uh, Christian Mobili, and he's good. Uh, you got, well, in the WBC, along, along just the WBC, you got uh, uh, Canelo Alvarez, no, stay away from him. David Benavidez, stay away from him. Um, again, I'm going to show the sparring with them in the end of the, uh, this video. Christian Mobili, you know, he's really good. Jaime Magius. That, I don't think he want that. Not 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 how many get. Not at this stage of his career. No, uh, Diego Pancheco. Mm, he's young and up and coming. But I seen Diego Pancheco and uh, David Benavidez spar each other. I don't. I don't think he wants him. You know, um, Sergey Dervianchenko. Okay, take that. That's a that's a good test for him. Sergey Dervianchenko, ranked number seven. Yup. Um, Egg, uh, Kayla Plant, okay, Edgar Belanga. No, I mean, take Kayla Plant, no, stay away from Kayla Plant, no, stay away from Kayla Plant. Edgar Belanga, you know, maybe, all right, you know, maybe. Demetrius Andre, mm -hmm, you know, maybe. You know, these are the, like, you know, William Skoll on, as far as the I, IBF, yeah, I think you could take him. Um, but, you know, these are guys that, these are the, Kind of the, the bigger, the frontier guys at 168. Beck the Bully, I know, I don't think he should take him, but you know, and you know, it's guy, it's other guys that are that are ranked that I think he could take at 168. But though, as far as those top guys, stay away from Canelo, David, Caleb Plant for sure, and 
you know, for sure stay away from those guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, those are dangerous fights for real for him. Um, you know. But anyways, man, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. How do you feel about Andre Durrell's career? What do you think? What do you think he'll be able to do coming with a comeback now? But what do I know? I've been waiting for that for so long. Max the monster. He's up there with the Matrix. Holy shit, he just up this game. This boy is fast, explosive, fast that power, precise, and he got a game on the talent. I need you to give me nothing. Hey, go. Hey, my shit. Ah! 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 